Assalamu alaikum dear students I hope you all are fine today I am going to start the short questions of chapter number 2 that is about respiration we all are familiar about the respiration respiration is basically a process in which we get energy from the food so with the help of this process we get the energy and this energy is utilized to run our daily life activities so there are two type of respiration question number one is what is the difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration so there are the two types of respiration the first one is the aerobic respiration and the second one is the anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration is the type of respiration that needs the oxygen to take place in our body and anaerobic respiration is the type of respiration that does not need the oxygen to take place in our body. Aerobic respiration is a major type of respiration. Most of the time aerobic respiration takes place in our body. And anaerobic respiration is a minor type of respiration. It takes place for a short interval of time. Aerobic respiration is a complete breakdown of food. In this case, the food is break down completely into a different products with a release of energy, while the anaerobic respiration is the incomplete breakdown of food. However, the products that we get from the reaction of aerobic and anaerobic respiration are the main products of aerobic respiration are carbon dioxide, water, and energy. And the main products of anaerobic respiration are lactic acid and energy. So the lactic acid is produced as a byproduct in the reaction of anaerobic respiration with the release of energy. And this lactic acid is further break down aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. You can see on the screen food when react with the oxygen. With the help of different enzymes, enzymes are the chemical substances that initiate the chemical reaction. So, food and oxygen both react to produce carbon dioxide, water and with the release of energy. So, it is a major type of respiration, anaerobic respiration. You can see on the screen, this type of respiration take place without oxygen. So, without oxygen oxygen food break down into a lactic acid and energy with the help of different enzymes okay now question number two make a list of all the body parts of the body through which air flows on its way to the lungs so there are different parts of the body through which air flows on its way to the lungs so these parts of body are nose, nasal cavity, pharynx, <coughs> larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli and lungs. So the air first passes to the nose, then from the nose it passes to the nasal cavity, from the nasal cavity it passes to the pharynx and from the pharynx it passes to the larynx, from the larynx the air passes to the trachea, from the trachea the air passes to the bronchi and from the bronchi the air passes to the bronchioles and from the bronchioles the air passes to the alveoli and from the alveoli the air passes to the lungs and at the end the air is absorbed completely into the blood and it is reached to each and every part of your body. You can see the sketch on your screen. The air passes to the different parts of the air passageways. Nose, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli and the lungs. Now the question number 3. Differentiate between breathing and respiration. Breathing and respiration both are the different processes. First the breathing take place in our body and the second respiration take place in our body body so breathing is simply the movement of air passing in and out of your lungs 
एंड रिस्पायरेशन इज द प्रोसेस इन विच द एनर्जी इज रिलीज फ्रॉम द फूड सो फर्स्ट ब्रीथिंग टेक प्लेस इन अवर बॉडी एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ ब्रीथिंग वी गेट द ऑक्सीजन सो दिस ऑक्सीजन रिएक्ट विद द फूड मॉलिक्यूल टू रिलीज द एनर्जी सो रिस्पायरेशन इज द एनर्जी रिलीजिंग प्रोसेस एंड ब्रीथिंग इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर पासिंग इन एंड आउट ऑफ द लंग्स सो देर इज अ क्लियर डिफरेंस बिटवीन ब्रीथिंग एंड रिस्पायरेशन ब्रीथिंग इन्वॉल्व द मूवमेंट ऑफ ब्रेब्स एंड डायफ्रम मसल्स वाइल द रिस्पायरेशन इज अ केमिकल प्रोसेस दैट टेक प्लेस इन ऑल द सेल्स ऑफ योर बॉडी नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वट आर द थ्री प्रोसेस ऑफ एरोबिक रिस्पायरेशन इन्वॉल्व इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी The three process of aerobic respiration involves in the human body are the three processes are very necessary for the aerobic respiration to take place. First, oxygen is taken to the cell of the body by the blood. So we inhale the oxygen from the outside, and this oxygen then reaches to each and every cell of your body by the blood. So. second process is energy is released by the reaction of the dissolved food with the oxygen so the oxygen we inhale it reaches to each and every cell of your body and inside each and every cell the food molecules are also present so the oxygen react with the dissolved food and it releases the energy point number 3 carbon dioxide and water are taken back to be breathed out into the air why because carbon dioxide and water is produced as a waste product so it must be taken back to be breathed out into the air question number 5 why is it better to breathe through your nose than through your mouth it is better to breathe through our nose than through our mouth because why because there are many of the small cilia like structures and hairs that are present in our nose and nasal cavity so what's the purpose and function of these tiny hair like structures in our nose and nasal cavity is that the air present outside it is very dirty and it contains germs our environment is not as clean so the germs and dust particles are filtered out by the hairs inside the nose and the nasal cavity there are many hairs in the nose and nasal cavity so these hairs filter out the air from the dust particles and germs so if we breathe in through our mouth the dirty dry and cold air can enter in our lungs so it may cause us many disorders in our body however the air is also warmed by the blood vessels in the nose and moistened by the slimy mucus produced by its lining however there are many of the blood vessels present in which the blood flows and there are many cells present at the lining of the cells these cells may produce the mucus mucus is a sticky greenish like fluid and this mucus moistened the air and the blood vessels warmed the air understand so these are the some of the reasons in which it is better to breathe through our nose than through our mouth now question number 6 how cold is caused how do you feel when you have a cold cause colds are caused by viruses which invade the cells lining the nose and throat causing them to break down however there are many cells that line or cover the nose and your throat region so these viruses are present in the air outside so when you inhale the air the viruses may enter into your nose and throat and it may attack invade attack the lining of the nose and throat cells and causing these cells to break down and these viruses disturb the function of the cells so there are many symptoms some of the symptoms are sore throat second one is the low grade fever third one is the watery eyes fourth one is the runny nose so these are the symptoms of the cold 
and the cold is caused by the viruses so the person experiencing different symptoms now question number 7 what are the bad effects of nicotine following are the bad effects of nicotine the smoke contains a drug that is called the nicotine it is very poisonous and harmful the smoke drug is addictive and it speed up our heartbeat as well as it narrows the arteries inside the arteries the blood flows so when the arteries become narrow so the blood flows with a high pressure so it causing the high blood pressure the effects of the nicotine are it speed up the heart beat it narrows the arteries as well as it causing the high blood pressure so it is a very dangerous and harmful drug thank you